And I had never heard of core values or anything like that till I came in the Marine Corps, but I didn't know that I already had core values. Why? Because that's, my parents gave us that. I, I'm very lucky coming from that kind of a family. He gave to me a uh, the world inside is eternal energy. We train to fight because we will win. There are no exceptions for us in the Marines. None of this says that uh, Uroch speech, but the fact of the matter is, it's actually true. No matter what you do, please be the best at what you do every single day. Uh, through a lot of the resolve uh, that you gentlemen both spoke to about being a Marine. And yeah. working in joint coalition worlds, I can say that we absolutely are different from the others, and I think yeah. it's important that we have Marines in those fields. Uh, when I was a Lance Corporal, you asked me uh, on a board when you were with the MLG what a Marine is to me. Um, I waited to ask you the same question. You didn't ask, but we have to fix. Right now, we field you comm equipment, Harris radios, you can't even work on. Because we don't give you permission. You could, but we don't give you the permission to work on them because they're still under warranty, and we have to call a contractor to crack the box open to work on it even though your own people could fix it. I gotta work on that. The important thing about being in the rain is what? Being in the rain. So what I was going for. Except she already played my mom, so it's her turn. <laughs> Feeling of being a Marine. That's passion. That's in here. That's in about here. So think about think being a Marine is about it's about passion. The most important thing about being a Marine is probably something that's not in the district trade. It's passion. JJ did try to buckle. <laughs> you with me? It's passion. You've got to give your deal and want to make sure that the left breast pocket is more important to you than your right breast pocket. Shifting to Pacific Warfare, how are we going to balance that with the threats in the Middle East? Okay. The best way that our country can prevent a war right now is to have a very strong naval expeditionary force. So you and me have to become a naval force that can go ashore. Does that make sense? Right now, today, you and me are a land force that can go aboard ship. We need to become a naval force. Comfortable fighting from the sea. Comfortable operating from the sea. And it's going to take some time. But this is the unique contribution of the Marine Corps, right? We have to train to failure. By that, I mean at a unit level, at an individual level, we got to learn to push ourselves to the point of failure. Because then you know where it is. Then you take three steps back, you figure out what you might have done differently, and you do it again. Physically, exhaustion-wise, pushing ourselves to the limits. Tactically, training to failure. Step back, think, well, how could I do it different? Do it again. You do that over and over and over and over again, we'll get better. I trust, absolutely trust, that our small, small unit leader, leaders will every time dominate. This is how the Marine Corps operates. It means that individual NCO-led elements, company-grade-led elements, can make decisions move inside the enemies, inside a threat's kill chain. The way that we train to get there, lastly, has to change. We are not very good at talking about failure in the Marine Corps, because failure is a bad thing. I've learned more from failure than I have from winning. Pacific region is the priority theater. Not the only theater, but the priority theater, right? So what does that mean for you and me? It means everything from the battalion squadron down, we gotta be comfortable, very comfortable operating from ships and then back to the ships again. And from one shore through the water to another shore. We gotta become lighter, we gotta become more mobile. We gotta be able to hunt and kill ships, which we haven't done. I am very grateful for what you do. And the second part of that, I just got to tell you, it's really humbling just to be able to serve you every day. We listen. We take notes. We go back and think, how can we run the Marine Corps better? What can we give them that they don't have right now that will help them be more combat effective? All I'd ask of you, only thing I ask of you is take care of each other. Treat each other 
same way every day that you would treat each other in combat. If you do that, then we'll be fine. Is that okay? Simple as that. Fair enough. Sergeant Major. 